Alrighty, 702, we'll kick it off here. Let's go ahead and start it off in a 7, and then if we do all right, we're going to move straight into an 8 and take a peek. Uh, if you're taking uh, notes or, or something of that nature from this list. Well, I feel like just a, a nice video, re uh, just recording everything should be pretty yeah, much the notes I need. I get that, uh, but I'm actually getting tutored in another language right now. And mm -hmm. it's really helpful for me to write down bullets and points as I go. And if you don't need that, that's fine, too. Well, no, uh, that's okay. I'll open a notepad. It works do that. very well for me, I know, personally speaking. And so there will be a few things that I'll highlight here and say, like, hey, write this down for sure to make sure that the overarching sort of meta is working. To I hope you don't feel like this. I was um, ambushing you and I was asked <laughs> that question but when well may just me that but yeah, you know i think i mentioned fine. to you before you know i understand i've played 27,000 games it's a lot about this game i do understand mm -hmm. but it's there's some essence there that clearly in fact that my recents are like you know right around 1050 for a win eight mm -hmm. and 51% uh, for a win rate clearly there's something I'm missing. So, um, and I don't know. Maybe that's not something anybody can teach me. I, I don't. I'm not sure if there is an answer for that. Well, I think. Well, we'll how about here... uh, tried and true? Mm. Okay, what have you got? I'd like to run the same thing you've got. G29. Yep. Let's go ahead and run the 29 then. Okay. And uh, and once we oh. get off in pubs here, like I say, I will mention things to be sure to notate down and that will hopefully help because we, there's a kind of a flood of information sometimes and this will yeah. be an easy way for us to mentally highlight for ourselves okay this was the really important take home fact that we mm -hmm. actually want to be remembering and the other stuff we can forget so for this game we're looking at lineup noticing pretty quickly we have an extra eight but they have quite a few TDs etc now which team do you think will have a better time taking the hill uh, let's see, when it comes to mediums, I would say, uh, well, we've got the, we've got, an, actually, they have uh, four mediums, which I would say would be the best deal takers, so we better plan on just defending yep. from the base. Yep, well, let's go D5 here, and we're going to set up under the base of the hill. Now, our only concern there, because we're in T29s and we have great turrets, is if they're GWP sets up kind of five line into the west maybe six line into the west and by going to the base of the hill we're going to try to contest vision across the middle of the map and then be able to push up aggressively if the opportunity arises and i'm going to take a we shot so we go uh, okay somebody's in my way i wanted to take a shot at the hill i stopped to aim but uh, friendly got in my way so i couldn't uh, take a shot so on the way in a bit in the same boat. There's just so many tanks that just pack themselves in. You know, should we be elsewhere? Is this too congested? No, no it's fine. We want to demand the corner here. So we're going to grab our spot and say, yo, this is ours. Don't mess with this one. Okay, I'm going to do the gun line kind of thing here. I think you have a Panther 2 shot if you drift Ah, oh, shit. I've already got a damaged gun. Don't repair it. Save the kit now. Because I've already done it. Okay, well, you're too fast for me. We're in okay, now what should I have been thinking? Because I almost always just repair the guns. The reason here that we wouldn't, there's a Leo to this side, is that uh, we're in such close quarters that we don't need to prioritize gun repair. Oh, six shot. Okay, let's help our VK4502. And here's why. Here's our, our bulletin point, for instance. We cannot currently be aggressive in the middle. But we can be aggressive in the east, and since okay. we want to impact the game heavily, we're going to go to the east and be aggressive and help this BKA. So we know we're going to have to be penning a Super P through the, the Cupola, and we're going to have to be penning a Panther M10, which is no problem. That thing's but It's absolutely butter. I'm going to go over the other side of this yep, rock, I think. That's perfect, yeah. As soon as you get to the other side of the rock, you can get a yeah. shot off, and that'll be good. Target 
Look for the M10 with your next shot. He's going to be a very guaranteed pen. Uh, whereas the super's going to be a little bit difficult right now. Oh, no, I'm... Yeah, you know what? I uh, got tracked and the no GW kit. took me out, just like he predicted. Yep. Uh, one other way that we can play this edge, and I'll show you here, although you can see it probably on my video when we send this, is so you poked sideways, so you exposed your side here. But yeah. since you had a little bit of time, you could have straightened up and gone into more of a side scrape pose, although the arty still hits you, right? We didn't know it was aiming at you, and it still would have hit you if you'd been like this. Yeah, in general, I should have done a little side scraping, even though the... Uh... 29 isn't the perfect size tra uh, tank. I don't think it ever hurts to try to do that. Sadly, it's not. So as we approach this super feet, I don't go on the outside because I know Artie for sure had a shot there, and he could have even yeah. had a shot from the west. And so I'm going to sneak on the inside of the hill and hope for the best. Will I still die? I mean, I hope not. Okay, I'm lit. That means there's a tank in front of me. Yeah, the force surely has to pull it ready to go. Okay. So after firing, move to cover. And I die Ooh. anymore. Still 100% the plate. We want everyone to make there. We move up on the inside, which exposes us to less fire. Especially if right. there's an already over there. And then we move to cover after penning a shot. Bread and butter. So to recap, our, bol our, our major bulletin point this game was look looking at the map and seeing where can we be aggressive. We figured out we can't really be aggressive in the middle. And so we moved, and we're aggressive. Got a little unlucky. Also, maybe probably should have had a repair kit still available. But you were too quick, uh, which is kind of kudos to you as well. And, uh, and also, I just want to get that gun in the game, game always. So. Yep, yeah, I, I hear you there. Guys do the same thing. A lot of people do it. I just don't recommend it. Because a lot of the time, you know, 75 meters, 60 meters, doesn't really matter because your shell will probably fly towards the middle anyway. And that's what you can Yeah, that, that's, those are good points. I was proud of my map awareness for change. Mm -hmm. I did notice that light up there. Oh, that, yeah, you picked the Leo threat. before I did. That was good. Yeah. That was actually really a uh, nice pick. Well, looks like we've got it in hand anyway. Want to watch the end of it? Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. I want to play one more sevens and make sure we're going to be squared away. And they have only one already left, so we'll be good. It's nice to get the W, though. It's always nice. Yeah. Neither of us got a lot done, but still got a W. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm pretty... Oh, did that already... I mean, if I play like shit, then I'm not fine with the W, but even though I won't get a win ed out of it, I don't feel like I play like shit. Sometimes I, I would just agree, die early. yeah. I think, you, I think you're accurate in that. Your situational awareness was good. You were aware of what modules went down and fixing them very, very quickly. Uh, had a great good idea of going to the opposite side of the rock as well, which was strong. So we got yeah, multiple the, the, angles of fire. That was good. Yeah, I should definitely should have side scraped. I'm not quite sure. I mean, side scraping, I've had, I make it work with uh, with a T29. People say it's not that good a side scraper, but it was something. What what I was able to do is I was able to get a shot off on the uh, silver perching and back out. Mm. Being sideways, you can get a shot and hit the reverse. But and actually hear how the shot went uh, after you've lost sight of it. You know, it, it's a good way of getting in and getting out. Going to the 29? Okay. Yeah, let's go ahead and run one more of these here. Something that's I always try to remind guys with side Holy scraping. Holy shit, Miller. Hmm. 1600 damage in such a quick game. Good job. Yeah. Uh, is that <laughs> side scraping is not just about making them bounce. It's increasing their margin of error. You're exposing less of your tank, and the part you are exposing is at a more difficult angle. So you're basically saying, you know what? You can probably pen me, but it's challenge mode if you do. Mm -hmm. So I will side scrape in my, you know, my bat chat, my 1390, anything. Doesn't matter the armor, because it's all about reducing their angle. And here we're going to run directly into C2. And we're going to look okay. north and northeast. And our, our reasoning for playing C2 is similar to mine. It's a spot that we can probably play aggressively. And it's also a spot where we can look to get early damage and play towards 
tank's strength, which is hold down peekaboo. Yeah, actually, I would have to uh, watch uh, Junker's video on this, um, his YouTube on this particular map. Mm -hmm. He likes to run up along the one, too. There's good divots and places to hide in there. Oh, for sure. This is this is really the place you want to play in every tank. doesn't matter if you're 29 or not, because all the other maxims hold true except for the depression, isn't it? It's actually, he recommends just bringing uh, mediums up here. Mm -hmm. if, even if you spawn in the valley, just bring anything up here. For sure. For sure, I've been on the forums for MM actually saying we should bring lights to this spot. I think he actually... You gotta be real careful too. Don't get any more aggro, because we pinged C2. <laughs> nice shot. Uh oh. Just keep backing up. Keep backing up. Just bounce me, dude. That's how you're doing. I'm bouncing him, it feels bad. Wow, you're just you're playing that guy like butter. Penetration. Okay, I so think we gotta lean on him personally. A little bit, yeah, I'm still on reload though. So we know they only have one arty. Okay, good. We gotta kill. Perfect. See that C one twenty two. We can beat up on this guy from the side. It's going on to our right though. Okay. Oh, we got him. All right. Cool. I'm just gonna kind of wander yep. down here, Pressure stay in the breeze. The Ignore the yeah, I could take. Left. You got it. Yeah, I could have taken a shot at that. Uh, whatever the hell is crossing down there, but e better just yeah. go with the program here. So we're gonna pressure the Centurion, and we know the IS-2 is gonna try to get cute, but we have a tank defending our side. Minus you 100 Y, grow up here. Don't oh. wait for him All to right. poke. Go ahead and look for a heavy shot here. Okay. Centurion fire. Yeah, so I'm trying not to get. I'm trying not to block yet. It's I'm fine. sorry. It's fine. Just look for a shot here. The gunner is dead. We're trying to cover for him. You're our kid. I'll protect you a little bit. Might as well not have both of you exposed. Yep, sounds good. Thank you. Okay, fire. Come on, come on, reload, gunner, please. Nice, let's flip for the Centurion now. now. I'm gonna try to get in front of them here after you fire. I'm not yeah, gonna make it. Nope. Oops, okay, got me. That was a little better for me. Play that a little better. Oh, for sure, I think it was, absolutely. Good, you bounce. So I'm gonna ignore the Panther 2. Because the P2 will, will pen me no matter what. So now I have to deal with the scent next. Okay, Panther 2 gets the kill. That was good. Uh, it was a very aggressive gameplay, especially by you. You were so aggressive. I feel like I needed reins or something to bring you back in. Like, <laughs> hey man, don't go ahead. Well, it's not go too crazy, you know? You watched the video and you became Rambo. I don't know. Uh, I felt like there's a weakness there I could exploit. I mean, there was. There absolutely was. Uh, we got a little lucky, though, that their IS-6 was was so bad. Uh, he, he was really, bouncing me. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he was... <laughs> he had no I business was, You know, I've never understood. That he bounced me. Does that mean that my shot bounced off him or his shot bounced off me? I've never really quite figured uh, that out. If you say he bounced me, I understand it as he fired at you and bounced off of you. Okay. He bounced me a couple of times, so yeah, I was a little lucky there. I felt like it was very lucky, but hey, luck favors the skill. So what was good, though, <laughs> is that you played this spot aggressively. Uh, you also communicated it pretty effectively. Hey, I'm going to come up and look to try to share HP. Uh, one thing, though, and this would be another good bulletin point, is that you waited on a one-shot Sue a long time when there was almost a full health centurion in KV-5 that you could have been shooting in the interim. And it's, yeah, and that as he was that. behind the hill, he was not going to yep. show himself. Yeah. So he was not being dumb, and mm. I was expecting to be dumb. So yeah, that cost me a little bit of but even damage to liver. If he had been dumb, he would have given you about 215 damage, and your average damage is 320. So you would have still gained more damage farming shooting another target. Uh, so. Uh, however, uh, he was weak enough, so I could have taken that one shot. Would have taken his gun out of the game. True, it would have. So. 
So that was kind of what I was. I don't mind uh, two hit points if I only get two hit points of damage if I can <laughs> take it. it. Yeah. Especially, mm -hmm. I mean, the SC 100 wise are pretty nasty guns. They can take, a, they can do a lot of damage. So my philosophy tends to be that I'm willing to uh, mm -hmm. waste the time. But I don't know. I mean, I don't disagree with you, but that's just what I was thinking. Go ahead and hop out. We'll, we'll switch to eights here. Uh, one okay. of the reasons why the Sioux wasn't, let me see what eights you have right now. The Sioux wasn't a high priority for me. It's because he was on um, their side of the hill, and not just he was hidden, but the chance that he would come over all the way over the top to shoot us in the low ground was really, really low. Oh, yeah, he would have really so had to. We had the chance to kind of beast on their tier 8 tanks, which we did, uh, but we could yeah. have done it even more effectively by ignoring him. Yeah, I think you're, yeah, I, I'm not disagreeing with you. I'm right, just right, trying sure. to tell you what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, well, let's do the IS3s. What the hell? That's in every. Yep, good. I need to be good at those if I'm going to be good. So. Kind of a good CW tank for us as well. But yep. ho hopefully, uh, you know, some of these more bulletin points too will help with the big picture. I think they will. Plus, we're, we're doing well. You're doing a good job being aware. Uh, man, so aggressive that last game. Though. <laughs> you were killing me, bro. I thought, what happened? The PDX, you know. Well, I thought, I don't, usually I don't see opportunities. There were some opportunities. Yeah. That's my problem. I, if, I, if I can see opportunities, I'll go after mm -hmm. them. But so often, I'm just, I don't see the, we, you know, I think that maybe, I'm trying to figure out what separates me from the really strong players and Maybe it's just that I don't recognize the opportunities unless they're really staring me in the face. C1? You can keep talking, but we're going to go to C1 and we can talk about yeah. why in a minute. The big deal with opportunities in my mind is that we have to be in the right spot to notice them, unless it's by lineup. And like this game is a great example. They have three Panther 88s. Okay? That tank is not that scary for us. We don't have any trouble pinning it. We do plenty of damage. Oh wow. Freaking FC. Where are we? Okay. My question would be, why are we not taking yes. our heavy tanks to heavy tank alley? Because we're hoping to find the Panther 88s in the north. And if we find those 88s, we're going to slam. I mean, okay. those dudes are dead. And it's really hard to play south aggressively. If they put any manner of tanks there, say their IS-6 in the Roomba goes there with, um, you know, maybe already support or something. It becomes really, really hard to push. Okay, one of the 88s. Well, look what's well. up here. Yeah, there's an 88. There's an 88, there. at least one of them. Yeah, hopefully more. Oh, the other one. Okay, they split their 88s. Mm -hmm. I think there's still one unlit somewhere. We'll have to see where he ends No, up. the other one's south. Oh, is there? Because there's three. Oh, oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. You were so believable, I checked the lineup. You'll see that on the video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the thing is... Okay. There's Even a, this is a little so lump is enough to hurt my hull down. Yeah. Okay, I'm so, gonna get behind. So you have to you have to come a little bit wide, and then look towards. I'm gonna wait for this guy to shoot. I don't. Okay, and I'll wait for you to take a shot before I roll out there. Oops, I did not get one. Out. So back down the slope now and come on to my left side. When yeah, I wasn't. I don't have the depression. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean by coming wide because when I came off to the side. I can sit in the low ground and use my height to my advantage. You said becoming live or what? Uh, wide. 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 Okay. That yeah, was probably right. your issue. Yeah. Uh, so look to the right, and you're doing perfect right where you are now. You're in a good spot. And yeah, we're, this is uh, what we call our gun line. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. And we're going to see if the 88 pops up. Now, if nothing happens in a minute, we'll, we will be pushing north. Because it is a pretty safe line. Now I'm going to start. You stay there for now. And okay. they'll call you up to me. And the way we're going to do this is how we always want to push. We stay in the terrain. So I'm staying in the low ground path here. We're keeping one guy behind. So perfect. You can do things just like that. Now go ahead and come to me. Follow up to me now. As we might say, the jig is up. They know they're being pushed. And so it's good just to get tanks. Uh, okay, I'm going to get another shot on this guy. Okay. Good. Now, uh, definitely move up. Move up now. We don't want to put, put ourselves in a situation where you get stuck behind the fight. Okay. Oh, my tractor chaffing. Maybe you can finish that chapter. Oh, the 88 block. Alright, he uh, tracked me. Oh, and I put one in the dirt. Damn it. 
He's just bouncing off me, but uh, he's, he did block me. He slowed me down. Okay, it's fine. Just go ahead and keep coming up as you're able here. And we're going to push aggressively onto the 88, and then we're going to push aggressively into their base. That's how it's going to go. There's going to be nothing left but feathers by the time I get there. That's okay. Hopefully Let's there'll be a, a few bones, you know, maybe a wing, something like that. Okay, good. One already fired, and then Yeah, I think I already likes you. I, I tend to think I'm a likable guy, and hopefully that's true. If you have a kit, go ahead and use it. This is kind of a nasty uh, crossfire, and you don't want to stay in it. The Artie is our way, the Pershing is our way. We have to kind of be careful. Now again, as we move up anywhere, and the reason we're moving up is because we have the advantage and it's pretty safe, we try to use the now, terrain. I'm seeing shots on that Pershing, but I would have to stop a name. Exactly, uh, so don't stop. Don't <laughs> because stop, Because okay. the one shot is not worth the risk of getting pummeled by Artie or whoever yeah, else might be true. sitting there. I didn't know you could even get through the edge of those dragon teeth. No, I, I'm going to go cool, so around I because I, otherwise I'll block you. Okay, well, is our set to come up behind fine. you? I don't want to block your retreat no. if you need to back up. Oh, well, hold it. Okay. Jeez, there's a way around these dragon teeth, but there's the wrong way around. I yeah, exactly. Around you don't want to go the wrong way. Go ahead and put a shot into him. We'll, we'll push in aggressively here, knowing we'll find oh, the Roomba at some point. I'll go ahead and finish the Roomba. Enemy armor is destroyed. Drive on. Nice. That guy's running the dirt. That's pretty sad. Oops. We're going to move forward now. Okay. Oh, my in-game chat doesn't work. That's kind of cool. Also weird. So there was an FE over our shoulder that we knew from the minimap, but it's not important because he won't hurt us. And so we're moving as fast as possible to get to the most HP on the map. And that, in this case, is a T-44. This is why we often find ourselves rooting for the enemy team going, hey, that guy needs to live just to... Just a little bit longer. <laughs> Just, we believe in you. Yeah. I think he's wise to the game, though, and is going to try to run away, but... Enemy is hit. Don't run, dude. You're only die tired. <laughs> Close. And we get the W. Okay, that's Good. pretty neat and tidy. Not a lot of damage again, but I feel like I could play that re reasonably well. But I was, yeah, I need to keep rolling. I was, mm -hmm. Stopping to aim means that I was out of the battle. And uh, while you were having fun, I was playing catch up. So sure. I need, that's probably a, a, one of the persistent problems I have to deal with. Agreed. So I just think we're both don't seeing bother, that, yeah. Don't bother stopping and aiming. Oh, it's a Russian tank, so they're not designed for aiming anyway. <laughs> they're designed for winning. Hey, I got uh, Good Lord. my premium Pardon gold. Pardon me? I got my premium gold. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> what did you just get? Uh, I said it's a Russian tank. It's designed for winning. <laughs> oh, yeah. What was it? Oh, hey. What was that? Uh, I got my what? premium uh, money. I got my tournament payout. It had nothing oh, to do good. with what we just did, so my apologies. Okay. But I've been oh, waiting no on gold pretty bad and... And so I got my premium. Well, congrats. Nice damage, dude. It's Holy cow. Out. The damage there really is just the difference from being on the front end. And some of that was because I did leapfrog forward. And some of it is because of pausing and stopping. So let's say you get two extra shots playing the same positions I played. That brings your damage to 1,700. And it brings my damage to about 1,500. Just splitting those two shots. But well... Not splitting, but you getting two more shots, basically yeah. taking them from me, gives us almost the same damage. It actually gives you more damage. Uh, so the the difference there is like it looks really big, 
but it all comes down to two shots, which is cool. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Just so, yeah. I could be getting, you know, again, well, it's not, well, I was just trying to just mention this in here. <clears throat> well, I usually do the one, two stuff. Yes. One, two is kind of what we want to play here. Uh, alternatively, and this is up to you, we can play eight, nine really aggressively because they don't have anything scary to stop us. And so we can push that. Uh, both are viable. Depends kind of what my students want to do, basically. I'm just a little more familiar with the one, two. Let's do it then. Perfect. And we're going to basically rush up into D2 in the high ground. And we're going to look down the two line. And the general reasoning there is that it, if you can be in low ground or high ground, always be in the high ground. Always. You're going up the. Are we going up this ramp? Are you saying? Yes. Here. Yes. Oh, go okay. ahead and go up the ramp. It is, I think, a little bit slower than going straight down the one line. Correct. But if they have someone that rushes into G1, they can see you crossing into the high ground. Yes. So then the the surprise is sort of lost a little bit. Sort of like that and tank in front of us. It looks terrible. Yeah, the oh. FV is not as fast as the. Uh, not as good looking either. No, the is a, a nasty looking tank. I like it. I'm a pretty big fan. So like I said, we're going to grab D2. And the reason being, always be high ground if you can be high ground. And grabbing the two line means we can react to a one line push if they push us, which is unlikely based on our heavy deployments. Or we can again be aggressive and we might even get free damage. So we're going to set up on this edge and look at... Oops, sorry about that. No problem. Okay. We'll come to your side here. Okay. We can follow our FB up. The key is that there's HP sponges in front of us. There is the FB, so we'll follow up here. And let's grab the opposite edge as well. And this is just a, an opportunity where there's I don't see space to be taken. Again. Nope, we're good. Here we go. I'll try not to cut you off. And we're going to roll in here. No reason not to knock down these trees, I suppose. Pretty much. Yeah. Perfect. Go ahead, Tiger. So when I'll we, when give you, I'm going to get this Tiger room so you can play this same. Okay. Okay, tell me when you shoot. I don't want to roll right in front of you. Look for the IS 6 now. We'll play this aggressively. Oh, shit. I think I just put a bullet in our friendly. So it's his friendly. fault. Don't worry about it. I'm going to move in so we can kind of break up the traffic jam. You're doing the same. That's great. Critical. Oh heavens. Okay, so there's a lot of guys here. I'm gonna stop on this side. I'm gonna put one in the back of this guy's head. Perfect. Enemy armor is damaged. Target acquired. Target released. I load in one second. Okay. Try okay. to hide behind our Wheezy if you can. Proto is the scary factor, or move to me if you can do that safely. Would it be worth me going up on the hill, or trying to come in behind him, or would I be eaten alive? No, I don't think we want to risk coming in behind there. Uh, the reward isn't isn't huge for us, because they can just turn and look at you. I'm going to try, wow, nice shot. I'm going to try to help out on the portal. I'll load in seven. Okay, nice. Just move sort of close to me, but keep trying to farm damage. Don't worry about, uh, you know, keeping me alive or focus firing or anything like that. Just look to, to keep farming shots. I'm going to shoot him and drive on by. He looks like he's looking at me. Yeah, but he's better. He can look all he wants. He's still gonna kill him. And we're just gonna move towards the base now, and that was. That was uh, track there. I would have. Mm -hmm. I would have got some run a little behind. <clears throat> One thing I noticed there is that when the Wheezy fired and backed up, then you kind of did get stuck in the open there. And that was a. Ah, uh, yeah. I thought I could roll around. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. 
Well, I we just want to be careful with that. Um, and one other thing, and this needs to go on a bulletin list somewhere, you know, put it in the notepad file, file or whatever. Your damage is more important than your pub's damage. It's more important. Wait, wait, my damage is more important than your what? Your getting damage is way more important than your public teammates getting damage. So, oh, right, yeah, right. I see you do this a lot, actually. You'll let an ally, like, come through or take a pre preferred corner, like a better corner for easy shots or whatever, uh, and then you actually lose out. And that's great if we're, like, making friends at the office or something. <laughs> But it's <laughs> terrible in tanks. You need to be more selfish on the corners. You need to say, no, this is a good edge. I'm going to use it. And then use but if it. But I, if uh, I felt like I could, by just moving a little bit, mm -hmm. I could uh, give uh, an ally a lot, quite a bit more room. So I thought it would be a small, you know, I mean, a small price to pay. I don't mind. Mm -hmm. It seemed like a small price to pay to help. The way I look at it is helping my teammates is winning. So if I win, and for you and me, that means we need to do a lot of damage traditionally. And so it's better to just sort of demand that edge. Now look, you man, you did 2400, which was sick. That was a phenomenal game by you. That King Tiger shot that he simped, because you let him through, that would have put you at almost 3k. And any other shot throughout that whole game, if you could have gotten one more off, boom. Now you're the guy at 3,200, you know? No problem. No problem at all. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. And the King um, Tiger, look at his damage. <laughs> you can't help that. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's a lost cause. Okay. It's his second eight, but he's, he's, he's not good in it. So, all right. Let's run the IS-3 game. Just I got well. a uh, heavy tank seven got done there. Oh, nice! You earned it, man. That was a great game. I do think though that your shot placement has gotten better. Uh, I'm not sure why, but you must be working on this or at least being cognizant of it when you're pubbing because when you're taking shots, you're penning almost all of them against some somewhat difficult targets. I know in that T29 game, you actually penned more than I did against that IS6. He rolled over, and I was like, okay. I'm going to lower plate it, and then I like whiffed or something. And then I bounced it. And you pinned every time. Same with that IS3 game we just played. Got a lot I didn't even pins. notice. I, I, looked, I, I think didn't you look went 10 steps. of 12 for damage, which is very strong. Okay. Skoda T50. Extremely no, scary. No, I can see that we're not, yeah, we're not high tier in this thing. Correct, correct. Um, but they have tons on of the other hand, our... as well. Well, I like our E75 against our Conqueror, so I feel pretty comfortable. D89. We're playing we're more like D9 is where we're going to go. But okay. unlike the other games, we're not going to be as aggressive early. Because a Skoda T50 or a Conqueror will eat us alive. And so as we play okay. this game out, we have to know that. The other thing is, is if we get an opportunity to trade out, for both of their nines or a nine and a couple eights, we will probably stay and fight and make that trade happen because otherwise there's serious risk that our team will get destroyed by that uh, Skoda T50 because that tank's just really OP. And so if we can help... Well, you know, I don't, I don't usually come here. I would usually go up against that next hill to the right. I'm not familiar with this oh, particular location. Yeah. See that hill directly in front of us, the sort of gentle slope there? Mm -hmm. uh, We'll play on the left side of that, so it'll be just a standard poking a corner from this kind of hill intersection. It's also a good land grab. Playing the uh, water side can make it very hard to push if they put a lot of guys there, but when you play this hill area, it's not too hard to push. And we're just looking, keeping our eyes yeah. out. There's the Skoda. We might be able to peek and actually shoot. I'm going to sneak up as fast as I can. Okay. Uh, that light thing I've been seeing. Let me just take a quick shot at this guy if I can. Okay, go ahead and just perma back up here. Hit, hit it in reverse and keep backing up. Yep. And see if you can straighten up a little bit. Because right now, if we keep backing up, we're going to go up the slope. Okay, good. He needs to keep back. Oh, I'm stuck 
Wow, I got uh, already loader scan. Bit bit rough there for us. I want got I got what I got. Oh, I'm dead now. Okay. The key there, and this is actually me because I didn't I didn't communicate. I thought we'd be okay. Is that it was when the LTTB lit us. I slowed up and looked towards the conqueror, but I didn't communicate that. I didn't say, "Hey, you need to stop." Which I should have. Well, I should have reckoned that as soon as I was lit. Mm. Yeah, I was gonna. I was trying to get up there to take a look at Skoda, and then I saw the light roll across. So I knew then. I should have known then that he will jig was up. Way. They knew where I was. Yep. So there'd be no real point in my continuing. You know, I, I should have started going full defensive mode. There, I looked to try to see if I could help on the Skoda, because he's such a higher value target than a than an IS-6. Couldn't. So now I'm gonna. Oh, this guy's dead. Yep. Oh, nice. Okay. Backed off in time with the conk didn't. Uh, cool. Now, how much HP was that Skoda at without checking your mods? Do you know? I did not. Um, no, I'm just. No, I did not check. Oh, I'm wow. okay. Right. The Skoda tier is nine, a two-shot. So. I think it was at 518. I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. I thought you asked if he was overall. You oh, know. he's 472. That's my bad. No, I just meant uh, his HP. And so now I look towards the Skoda. Oh, he's not going to silhouette. But the Conqueror will probably kill me eventually. I can't do much about that. What I can do is try to help out my team by getting one more... Ah, and I didn't get it. Uh, That's my fault. I should have definitely done. And getting one more shot of damage at a Skoda T50. Which is sort of similar to some of the things you've been saying, actually, where you're going, you know, I will, I'm will. i comfortable trying to help my team get a win, even if it means, you know, one less shot. So, very similar concept. Um, but our, uh, our rough bulletin point for this game was... Our approach was really good until we got lit. And when we got lit, we needed to be very careful. And, and I then, wasn't, yeah. Boom. We got blown up. Uh, which we kind of knew ahead of time because we were a bit small fry. But if we had been, if I had communicated a little bit more effectively, or uh, if you had backed off just a little bit more, we would have won the east side for sure because we did so well even after we lost you immediately and we would have killed both of their nines. And so this yeah. game would now be 10v10 and we would have nines left. Uh, and that would be so easy. So easy for our team. Yeah, I can see that's, you know, there are a lot of these things I can't see in hindsight, mm -hmm. but uh, it's just being able to think through the real life. But yeah, truly the, the error there was uh, letting that uh, light, getting lit and not changing my plan mm -hmm. to sneak up on that Skoda or whatever the hell it was. And as a general yeah. rule of thumb, that's just a good one you can internalize. You know, okay, if I get lit, I'll uh, I'll try to at least think, is it going to be a problem if they see me coming? Because if it's a 1375, it's fine. If it's a JPE, it's, it's less fine. Well, I didn't know what I would be encountering, but I thought that if I had not been lit, at least I could take a look around there. Okay. And not have all guns on me. And I already actually sweat really. That hit me for 673 at the M53. Mm, yeah, that'll, that'll punish a little bit here. Here, let's go okay. and hop to different. It's going to actually take him a minute to kill our tanks. Yes. And, uh, I don't want to wait that long. Let's take a peek here. Hmm. Let's grab a tier 8 medium. Okay. Um, Pershing, uh, Patton KR, Mutz, uh, my uh, French M4, uh, my uh, CDC. I like them all. Let's and go push. ahead and go with the Pershing or the CDC. Okay, let me see how my crew... You know, I'll go with the CDC. I need to get my uh, Bat Chat girl strained up. Perfect. Mm 
Now, especially in mediums, lineup is going to be even more important. What can you tell me about their lineup and our lineup? Well, they've got an IS-3 for their high tier. So uh, we're going to be, he will be in the one line. I still would probably tend to go, tend to go down the one line just out of, out of habit. Okay. Uh, they've right. got us matched. They're actually looking pretty strong as far as tank lineups go. They do feel pretty strong and clever. Uh, a good opportunity for us here is to have uh, one of us poke mid and the other guy set up to shoot it. So if you go to B5 uh, in our base and look down the middle road, and I will mm -hmm. try to spot the middle road. Or if our Type 62 will spot it, I'll go sit with you. And we'll look for a free shot. I can show you right where it is. This is sort of a good general rule of thumb on a map like this where you're not sure exactly how to deploy or where is going to be the most optimal. Try to set up for some slightly gimmicky. Oh no no no! Uh, B B five in the base. Oh, all right. I thought you were going to be up there at B five, and I was. You want me to light down below? Gotcha. All right. Gotcha. Sorry. Uh, maybe I missed that it or something. It's fine. The tape will tell, but it won't matter. Uh, no, I think it was my mistake. I was not. So clear. take that corner from me. Tell him. Tell Millard in your mind. Hey, I want that corner. I'm going to shoot from it. And be ready because like there's a comet that's hittable uh, the 37 was hittable I'm getting tink 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 yeah and Arnie went to have a go at you Great shot. After one more, back off and then don't poke again. We don't want to get too greedy. Good. Okay, now back off. Don't poke. And, uh, oh, I, I didn't even know this was an angle. I found a. Oh, after 26,000 battles, I found a new spot. Now, you see that M41? Uh, no. He's in the water. Uh, he was in the three line. Okay, should I come over there? Yep, move towards him and go ahead and grab right in here, and you're going to shoot him up. I'm sorry, I'm... So you see the M41 in uh, yeah, he's right there. Yeah, not yep. visible to me right now. Should I go down there then? Yeah, and if you go into the building structure... I'll show you. We'll go together. If you go into about E4, you should be able to stand in the buildings and shoot him without going into the water. We don't want to go in the water. Like we talked about before, if you can play high ground or low ground, always play high ground. Uh, tactically, it's, it's just far superior. So he's uh, he's going to try to run because it took us a little while to get here, and we'll go chase him down. a long okay. run for a small drink of water but we'll live with it let's go ahead and move pick up the 37 and then we'll pick up the super p who's to the east here on the uh seven line okay where are we headed straight up to one the back. super oh. p Yeah, I'm standing out in the middle of it. Uh, two bounces, damn it. He sure likes me too. He's a pretty big fan right now. Wow, nice pen by you. Good. We actually will have him here if we both pen. Yeah, I'm gonna be dead here pretty quick. Uh -huh. Good. Thanks for saving me. Now we'll move towards the CDC and the Artie. One of the big problems there in the approach is that you came really wide, like you were in the yeah. H row. But if you had buttoned up to those buildings and poked, then you could have backed around the terrain. 
I was trying to get an, uh, an angle on the T-37, mm. which uh, that's what brought me out there. Yep, I get you. But since he's tucked into a building, we can just drive by close, which is what I did. I just yeah. sort of took the same line and just drove close. Drove right by, so. Something to keep in mind there. And also, for a risk-reward, a one good shot on a, you know, a, a 30 HP T-37 is a pretty low reward for the risk what is he doing for the risk of facing a super pershing in the wide open? Uh, so, if you want to run the math on that, you can. If not, just take a shorter route next time. Yeah. Oh, no. Ah, uh, it got me, damn it. I tried to get behind those dead tanks. Yeah, that was a good try. That was a good try. It's tough because the CDC is pretty tall as well. That makes life a yeah. little difficult. Well, that uh, tank must be there as a result of new physics. Hmm. Yeah, it probably is actually. That was so bizarre. I don't think I've ever seen anyone set up there. Not great for us. Not horrific, but also not great, unfortunately. Uh, if we had been able to move towards the 41 a little bit quicker, and maybe that was communication, maybe that was hearing, whatever, uh, and we mm -hmm. would have gotten one more shot of damage on him because someone eventually shot him, and then we would have been able to flex towards the Super P, and then the CDC sooner. So we just would have moved about 60 seconds faster in that battle and uh, and might have gotten a little something done. Uh, if it's okay. in Constellation, though, in our IS-3 game, you still did more damage than our Tier 9 already. <laughs> <laughs> Which is crazy. Oh, boy. So Yeah, but I could see... You know, going wide like that, mm -hmm. that is a persistent problem that I have mm -hmm. at work on that. Mm-hmm. You gotta break okay. that habit if you can. Break it, yeah. break it, break it. Um, but you know, it's those little things. Like you said, just a couple more shots. And I go from uh, my, you know, my current kind of consistent 1100, I mean, we'll say 1050 win eight for every, an evening into, mm -hmm. uh, you know, into a 1500 or so. For sure. And it's the same thing with damage, and we're, we're seeing it, and, uh, and I think can do something about it, actually. But it's those reminders of whether it's going wide or not demanding a corner. I mean, we had that game earlier tonight where you could have definitely done 3K damage, but you were nice to our teammate. <laughs> but I just want to—I want to get the win, and the more yeah. guns. But I don't—I don't feel like I missed a shot. Well, I don't know. I have to look at the replay. You, you did. Shoot I might have let it go longer than. Three seventy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The reminder I, I'm here. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, I3? Let's do an I3. Yeah, let's do I3. Yay. All tanks and all tankers are not created equal. And so if you're on an edge and you feel like someone is a better tanker, then I would say give them the edge. Typically, if we're tutoring, I always say, no, 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 my, my student should demand the edge because it's good practice. But when you're pubbing and you have a, above average overall stats or running above average and have for a while, compared to the guy next to you, you are probably more useful on the corner. And so rather than say, well, let me take a little bit of a loss, like positionally to help my ally, it's way better to maximize yourself because that guy next yeah. to you is probably bad and you're not bad, so you should get the benefit. Unfortunately, when I, for me, those stats are that I am bad. So, but I understand what you're saying. You gotta break that mentally. You, you gotta stop. Go, go, city. Because compared to average, you're not bad. You're you're above average. You're good. So you know that's the um, problem mentally. There's two averages. There's the average win rate, mm -hmm. and on average, the average player will win 50 percent of their games. 48. The average player. Or 48 percent. All right. <laughs> but then there's average win eight which has to do with damage mm -hmm. and unless every game ends with one tank that has one hit point left then on average people are not going to be carrying their weight correct so now i usually go up to the corner on uh, k zero and shoot down try to shoot down the zero line we're but i'll go where you're going rails. here so we're going to stop in about k9 because this okay. is a pretty scary game for us oh <laughs> yeah really you know i don't I don't spend enough time analyzing the opponents mm. and analyzing, yep. even really paying attention to what tier the battle is. Especially when I'm in an IS-3, I just, I'm a little chihuahua, I assume I can take on the world no matter who's that's, out it's there. It's a pretty great that's, mentality, but you do want to be 
Oh man, I should have got a water. You do want to be uh, cognizant. That's something that I do a lot of, and, and honestly, tell my students. But personally, probably the tip I use the most is okay. So this is actually open rails, and we are going to move towards the zero. Oh, what the heck? That like guy just parked. What a moron. Uh, let's move with our T10 here. Why are we diving in here? Well, it's because we have an ally who can meet shield for us. Okay. That's the only reason we're coming in like this. We have an ally who will soak shells. Now look at base. Oh, I'm scared. Okay, so they have... Uh, we have to go back. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and pull all the way back. She's we have the speed fun, to get somewhere useful. But, uh, we're going to go out the same way we, we came in. Don't cross there. Because oh, okay. if they get a light anywhere, it will be on the rails area. Uh, <laughs> and that's closer towards their base. We want to avoid that. So we'll come just like this, like we came in. And move to our base. And what we're hoping for here, PDX, is that... Uh, you're going to ramp him, I think. Oh, nice touch. Is that our allies win city. And then they come back and help us. Now what it, what it looks like is uh, the bat just ran away from our base. So I yes, shot him. So it's did fun. you did, did, That was you? Yes, with an APCR. <laughs> I have no regrets. <laughs> but it's on camera too. Oh boy. Oh, the minion consortium is going to watch me shooting someone in the back. <laughs> That's just the kind of PI. Hey, know. they say me shoot you in the back of the head. I should be used to that. It's a proud tradition. Oh man. So, uh... <laughs> We ignore the saltiness from my chat here. We're gonna just go to defend base. Did we lose the skin? Probably. Probably, but using good mechanics, we're gonna come wide towards the red line a little more and then look back towards base. Good, I tracked the Centurion. I'm gonna run, I didn't load gold. Do you have a shell yet? I mean, I don't have a gold. I I'm mean, uh, eaten from oh, I front okay. and behind. I'm just getting my ass up totally. Yeah, the bat chat's gonna eat us up a little bit. Nice, good, you got one more shot off. That's actually pretty good. Let me see if I can help with this gun. Yeah, I'm fucked. Okay. At least you got a brew though. You got a little bit more TLC damage. Can I get a ram? Oh no. I can't. Oh, one more shot. Okay. So, here's what didn't happen. We didn't really win the city and get help. But look at it through a, through a different lens for a second. We'll put on our imagination caps and go, how would that fight have played differently if we had had our bat chat and our 62A at base with us? I think we uh, would have slow them down, that's for sure. I, I think we actually would have killed them. Uh, no doubts for me at all. We did good damage. The Centurion would have died like that, and then we could have uh, kept brawling it out. But what, what did happen? We had our Tier 10 Medium go field, but he committed really aggressively. Now, just based on what we saw on the pregame from the lineups, should anyone have deployed from our side aggressively into the field? Bat Chat, OBJ, Centurion, Wheezy120, Big Artie. Two tier seven lights in a tier eight light. Mm -hmm. No one should have gone. No one should have got aggressively feel. Nobody. But our team did, and we lost a tier ten because of it. So then we were stuck as you know eights fighting tens, which is fine because it's an IS three. But this is this is actually a really crucial thing. This game doesn't look close, and it won't look very close at the end because they will have tank quite a few tanks alive. But this game was actually very easily winnable if we had one tank that didn't feed. That's all. The 62A needed to not feed and our bat needed to return. Okay, we, we can be done with this game, I think. All right. But that's crucial. A lot of people don't realize that. They go, oh, you know, the end score was, it's going to be, you know, 59. Boom. You know. It didn't need to be. It could have been. What actually kind of surprises me is that they didn't take the base. It was only like um, t uh, eight to ten when they rolled through the base into town. I would have thought they they would have been the enemy would have been smarter to hold the base. Mm. Although mm. I don't look at the total at the uh, hit points total, the hit pool total.
Well, you did well, anyway. Well, neither of or us did Or at least let me rephrase it. You well. almost paid for your tank. <laughs> I didn't even... Yeah. That came nowhere close to that. Nice job by a plaid pony. I, I know that guy. Um, I don't remember from where, but I do know him. And, uh... And fun times. Okay. Uh, I, it looked, I think you got stuck kind of switching rounds there at the end when we were defending base. Is that correct? You switched into... A well, I was... Room? I was taking shots on whatever that British thing was up on mm -hmm. on base, and I didn't. I I could have been more useful uh, shooting guys far to the right. Mm. I was kind of fixated on on one guy. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. You did actually hit on two. I didn't realize that. Just had one that didn't pin. Well, let's play one more. We got time for one. Uh, okay. We'll do that. <laughs> Might have enough voice for <laughs> for one as well. I will do that. Before they send me rage PMs. <laughs> 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 That's the second set of PMs. It will be the second PMs that it... Oh, I'm such a nice guy. Why does this happen? Well, it's because I tell people to quit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's look at this matchup. Talk to me about what we see right now. Okay, once more, we're low tier. <clears throat> and, um... Reasonably, all of, uh, those E50Ms always scare the hell out of me. Um, I would say I kind of favor their lineup to ours in terms of tanks and uh, in terms of, of strong players. So, um, you know, basically, this would be the typical go to the castle, do the castle thing. G7. However, as low tier heavies, maybe we should be looking elsewhere. Yep. Yeah, yeah, good. So, I, don't, I didn't mean to cut you off there, but we're going to G7 and we're going to be looking into the middle of the map. And uh, <coughs> our general. Oh, okay theory for playing this map, and this is another good bulletin point, is they have a ton of TDs, we have a ton of TDs, if we play aggressively we will lose, or at least we will die. The answer mm -hmm. to winning this game is not aggression, certainly not aggression early. So we're going to set up and we're going to look to kind of camp and look inside the middle of the swamp and hope for free damage. And we know that's the route to victory because of the lineup. Because we go, oh, they have you know, a tier 10 TD, two tier 9 TDs, and a tier 9 arty. And we have two tier 10 TDs and two tier 9 TDs. So just for, the, for that info alone. Now come to where I am here. Yeah, there's shit for gun depression. With yep. this gun depression, there's no place over here. Yep, G7 is where we want to be. And uh, the reason is we have some bush cover. We actually have arty cover if we back up. That's pretty crucial. Now, look at what's happening in the north. Uh, kind of track yeah. that on the mini map. Sad things are happening, basically. It's pretty rough. We're going to go to the side again. 50M is visible, barely. Oh, we have Lorraine shots, I saw, though. I saw a little flash. Track them? track? Good roll. Now the Type 61 should spot them as they come through if he pokes again. And we have an E3. And so even though we lost our guy in the north, it's pretty hard for them to dig us out. You see the 61 just got hit by something? Yeah. God, I think he got splashed by Artie. Uh, because he's not already safe at all. Like, not a little bit. So the KB4. KB4 is up. That's just one of those things that we see on the mini-map. Then we look at it, we eyeball it, and say, Oh, do I have a shot? And then we take the shot and back up. Wow. You and your fires, my friend. There's yeah, yeah, I started a little fire on him, yeah. I'm going to keep backing okay. up. You're full HP, that's awesome. I like it. Alright, but go ahead and back up, because if you get lit in that lane right now, you're going to get exploded just like Hold that. Hold on, I've got a shot on this guy. Okay. Damn. Oh, I'm about to roll over. Jeez. Oh, we're fine. Rub some dirt on it. <laughs> don't poke, don't poke, don't poke. Okay. So, 
But there's a ship e check you get shot on. This is such an unlikely pin. The, the yeah, chances, yep, gun. exactly. And yeah. I got shitted yep, on, okay. Yep. The odds of you penning an E50M at extreme range, we're gonna come over to here, are so low compared to the odds of him penning you, no problem, that it's it's a terrible risk to take. Actually terrible, and he's full HP, so it's not as if we're gonna be killing him either. Yeah, you're right. There was that moment where I said, go ahead and back up, so if you get lit, you don't uh, get smashed like I did. But you stayed for a Pershing shot, and now you have 230 HP, <laughs> actually less HP than I have. Uh, yeah. And it's it's not a good risk. Okay, there's a waffle behind. Oh, jeez, a waffle trigger just saved me. Yeah. Okay, I didn't do a good job of following your lead on this at all. Right, right, and it was a again, it was not a good risk situation. A one shot on a Pershing was not going to be free because the rain had just been lit there and their E50M mm -hmm. was there uh, as well as their 49 but the 49 I think it only shot me and hadn't been lit now see what our E4 did oh no he doesn't want to win okay, our E4 is making a very ill-advised play now let's try for a VKA shot I did get lit if you take a shot on a ridge like that, and this is something good to note down, but maybe you're already 100% on board, always back off the ridge before you get lit. So if I think I might get lit, I back off immediately after firing. I don't wait. You can't. Yeah, wait I, in general, I am breaking the habit of seeing where the bullet goes. So I, I'm trying to develop a reflex of mm. left click and S is almost a single motion. Fantastic. Uh, Fantastic. You'll see, you'll see that as well on the on the clip until so anyone else is watching. Uh, I scroll out just very, very quickly usually after I fire. Uh, similar to, to probably most books, I guess. And I don't usually get to see where my shot goes. Even when it's safe, I'm just so used to backing out unless I feel totally comfortable. One moment, nice. Good, got him. No problem. Well, as badly, as bad as some of my decisions were, it wasn't a terrible game by my standards. Mm -hmm. For sure. I know you did get some damage out there. Wow, nice, you crushed my damage. Way to go. Look at you go. Almost 1800. Wow. Just think, if you could have stayed alive and taken some of the damage I got at the end, well, I'm glad you didn't, because then I would have gotten zero. <laughs> but you could have, you could have pulled out a maybe a 24, 26 game there pretty easily, I think. Okay. Um, so what did I learn? Or what did we learn from it? What did I learn? What did we? What do I need to Where's take away from this? Do you still have that notepad? Did you actually take any notes? Uh, no, I was oh, just no. listening and recording everything. I thought That's you were I actually it. writing it down, so I wasn't. Oh, okay. That's, hey, listen, I'm going to go over this. Okay. I'll, I'll watch this again. Right. Well, let me see if I can remember some of the things that we've oh, moved into. Um, mm -hmm. what's, what's that? Yeah, I just I was kind of busy just kind of taking it all in. Mm -hmm. well, one of the things that was positive tonight was uh, aggression and getting damage off aggression. Even on the games where... Uh, we talked about it, and you maybe made the wrong play. You were aggressive, and generally speaking, you actually hit your shot anyway. So you maybe died and underperformed in some sense, but you succeeded in your goal. Your goal just wasn't quite right, wasn't quite spot on. Um, so that was actually really good. Hitting shots tonight was really good. Um, one of our reminders would be uh, use terrain very carefully when you're approaching or retreating from a specific area I saw several times uh, where when you go to backup you're not really checking what's behind you and so you go up terrain I've I have and that times. has I have rolled tanks yes with this new <laughs> physics I have rolled tanks because of that mm -hmm. yes and in fact usually they're just half they're just on their side mm -hmm. more than once I've actually had a tank on its side if they roll it on top they might roll over but yeah. if you put it up on its tracks and a 90 degrees roll it uh they unless someone wants to push it down it's hard to get out of that 
The other take home is to put more work into understanding their lineup. What do they do yeah. well? What do they not do well? And I think the last one that I remember, we had a couple more, I think, but the last one I remember was the mentality of if we're in a heavy, go where their mediums are and we'll bully them because we're heavies. And that's what uh, we want right. To yeah, do. I don't necessarily need to have, send a heavy to the heavy tank area. Yeah. And I'm not quite sure. My problem is I'm not sure. I understand the concept there. Mm hmm. Uh, you know, it's like sending your heavies up the uh, up or down the uh, nine zero eight nine zero line of uh, steps. You know. Alrighty, guys, that is the end of our recording tonight. Hope you enjoyed and saw what a tutoring lesson with mother looked like, and I hope it was helpful. Peace.